take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. If the magnet sticks, the item is usually steel or cast iron, with a brass plating. If the magnet does not stick, you can test further by scratching a hidden area with a sharp tool. If you see a shiny yellow scratch, the item is likely solid brass. If you see a silvery scratch, your piece is likely white metal, zinc. Make your mark, take our lead. Short answer. Brass is worth around $1.25 to $2 per pound, 8 cents to 12 cents per ounce, on the scrap market. Some brass items are more valuable in the vintage and antique collectibles market, fetching prices ranging from $10 to over $1,000 per item. Let's help you make your mark. An alloy of various metals, solid brass comprises of pure brass though and through, which means it is a dense, highly durable and expensive from of the metal. Pure brass pieces can cost a lot more than comparable zinc pieces, although the difference is justified by their superior physical qualities. Make your mark, take our lead. Brass is a mixture of zinc, Zn, and copper, Ku. So, brass is not magnetic. Like aluminum, copper, and zinc, brass does interact with moving magnets. In the video below a brass plate on a pendulum will move rapidly in the absence of a magnet. Let's help you make your mark. Perhaps the best way to distinguish between brass and bronze is through their color. Brass usually has a muted yellow shade, much like dull gold, which makes it a good material for furniture and fixtures. Bronze, on the other hand, looks almost always a reddish brown. Take our lead. Will brass turn my skin green? It is the copper in brass and bronze that might cause your skin to turn green, and this likelihood is increased if your jewelry comes in contact with water. As such, if you're wearing a brass ring, it is most likely to leave a green mark on your skin when you sweat or wash your hands. Make your mark, take our lead. The difference between copper and brass is a few things, the scrap price value for it, what they are each used for and also the content of the metal itself. Copper is generally used more for electronics and brass is commonly used for plumbing components. Copper is generally higher for scrap value and brass is lower. Let's help you make your mark. There are over 60 types of brass. The most basic categorization can be considered to group all brasses into three main families. Copper zinc brasses, Ku Zn, leaded brasses, Ku Zn, Pb, and tin brasses, Ku Zn, Sn. These can then be further subdivided by their more specific properties and uses. Let's help you make your mark. Solid brass or coated doorknobs to find out what you're dealing with, put a magnet on the piece in question. Magnets won't stick to solid brass, so if it does, you likely have knobs or hinges of another material simply coated with brass. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.